What's up, everybody? Um, it's time for a continuation of the drama. New week. Um, hope everybody had a great weekend. Anyway, let me get on with Liz. I will never ever respect Elizabeth Weber. I swear I will not. She tried to come clean today, but I'm I'm more so like I said, like I'm pissed with Jason and Sam. One reason why. Here's the reasons. Sam. She signed the divorce papers all because she saw Liz kissing Jason, but she did not stay to hear the rest of that conversation. Secondly, she delivered the divorce papers to Jason because of the bullshit that Elizabeth was spitting out at the bachelorette party. A bachelorette party, might I add, Liz had no reason being near. She had no, she didn't need to be there. Another reason. Uh, here's the reason why I'm pissed with Jason. You signed the divorce papers because of the bullshit Liz told you. Another reason I'm pissed with Jason and Sam is because y'all are not sure that this is because y'all not being honest with each other. Y'all pretty much divorcing each other over with this caddy bitch saying. Y'all pretty much getting a divorce all based off of what Liz been saying. And it's to me it's stupid. And because of the fact that y'all being stubborn and y'all not being honest. When Sam heard Liz saying what she said at the bachelorette party, Sam should have went to Jason and asked him about his relationship with Elizabeth to find out if it's true or not. Why would you base a divorce off of what some chick said? Why would you do that? Go to your husband. Ask your husband about this. Don't base a like divorce is serious business. Once you sign those papers and, and, and the papers go through the court, you're divorced. You're officially divorced. So what you got to do is wait for the final divorce decree and you're divorced. But let me remind people, since Jason did sign the divorce papers, they're still legally married. Even though they both have officially signed those papers, they're still legally married. Until those papers go through the court and the judge signs the decree, after it goes through the court, then they're officially divorced. But seeing how those papers have not gone through the court, there's still time for Jason to tear them up. Even though he signed them, there's still time for him to tear them up because they're not legal. They're not legally divorced until those papers hit that court. Once those papers hit the court, it's out of their hands. Once a judge signs off on it and, and they get the final divorce decree, but they're still husband and wife. So there's still time for Jason and Sam to rectify this situation right now. There's still plenty of time because I'm sure it's going to be hours before they send those papers in. Um, yeah, but Liz, she get on my nerves. She keep talking about some. She felt like it was her and Jason time to be together. Bitch, you and Jason had your fucking time five years ago, four years ago. Y'all had your chance. Y'all blew it. It's done. It's over with. He don't love you. He told you that. And she keep talking about she cares so much about Jason. No, you don't. Love, let me tell you something. If you care about somebody, you would put their needs, their happiness above yours. She did not do that. She put her happiness above his. You don't care about him then. You know damn well he's not happy with you. You know damn well he told you. Basically, he don't want to be with you. He loves Sam. He don't love you. Not like that. So pretty much what you did was not caring. It was selfish. That's pretty much what Liz did. It was selfish. Everything she does is selfish. And you want to know what's fucking funny to me? A couple of months ago, when Lucky was in town, she kept saying how they belong together, da 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 da. But then when Lucky left, a couple months later, now she's saying her and Jason belong together. Bitch, pick a pick a dude. Which one? Jason, Sam, which one? I mean, Jason, Liz. I mean, uh, Jason, Lucky, which one? Which one do you want? Seriously. You go, you bounce from Lucky to Jason. It don't make no sense. Three years ago, Liz was supposed to marry Lucky. Three years ago, he was supposed to marry Lucky. She was supposed to marry Lucky. She cheated on him with his brother got pregnant and went months without knowing who the fucking father was bitch i think the thing about liz is i think it's all about the chase once she get the dude she finds stupid ways to end the relationship 
before it even begins. It's all about the chase. For her, it's all about the chase. She don't understand. When you tamper with DNA, you're fucking with people's lives. You're altering their lives forever. And the crazy thing is, tampering with DNA, that's some shit Heather Weber do. That's some shit making people think somebody's dead. That's some shit Helena Cassadine does. So that makes her that makes Liz no better than the two of them. You're pretty much another Heather Weber, Helena Cassadine. That's pretty much what she is. Is dirty, is low, is despicable. That's how tampering with DNA and making somebody think that their loved one is dead, that's as low as you can go. When people do shit like that, you're dead to me. Liz been dead to me for some years now. So she's pretty much a fucking zombie in my book. I'm just saying. I am so sick of her. In question, I have a very big question. Why is she going to this wedding? Jason didn't invite her to this wedding before. Why is she going to this wedding? She don't even interact with Sonny. She don't interact with Kate. Why are you going to this wedding? You have no reason. Anyway, let me move on. Because I haven't spent six minutes and 30 seconds talking about this bitch. So let me spend some more time talking about some other people. Um, John and Sam McBain. The letter that John got from Natalie. Natalie's a hoe too. I don't like Natalie Buchanan. She get on my fucking nerves. Little redheaded skeezer. What is with these redheads? Why are all these redheads a bunch of whores? I don't understand this. <laughs> Nora Buchanan. Hey, yeah, I remember the Sam Rappaport thing back in 98, 99. You watch One Life to Live, you know what I'm talking about. Redheads are such whores. I thought the blondes were whores. Seriously. Um, Natalie and John, I don't care for their relationship. But Natalie has no right keeping his son from him. None whatsoever. Like, you, why would you, like, okay, all of 2011, half of 2011, he went thinking Liam was not his son. He finally found out Liam was his son. He spent, you know, One Life to Live ended in what, January? So he spent about two months with his son during that time frame. Then you come to Port Charles, you know, so he barely had time to really spend with his son during that period. And now you want to keep him away. After all that fighting he did to get Liam back. You know, y'all had to deal with DNA tampering, a bunch of lies. You had to deal with Brody. Finally got his son back and you're trying to keep his son from him. That's ugly. That's very ugly. Sam, her and Jason, they need to fight hard for this marriage. Y'all giving up y'all marriage based on what this whore was saying. And I don't like it. John and Sam, I don't want to see John McBain with Sam. I don't. They need to give him a new love, whatever. Hook him up with Carly. I don't care. Well, not Carly. He wouldn't rock with Carly. Hook him up with somebody. I don't care who. Just not Sam. Sam don't belong with John. They're fucking dull to me. Like, I don't like them together. Anyway, Carly. What the fuck is up with Carly House? Did they remodel Carly House? Her house looked darker. But it looked different. Like, the wallpaper looked different. Like, but it looked real dark in her house. Was she trying to save bills or something since that divorce with her and Jax? Oh, P.S. You know her and Jax are finally, officially divorced. Finally. For God's sake. I'm mad about it, but it had to happen. Um, and then when they turned on the TV and they was watching Dancing with the Stars, I was sitting there rolling. I'm like, and then she was saying, don't that girl look just like Sam? I'm like, bitch, you know who that is. Stop playing. Um, I was kind of mad because I thought Carly wasn't going to go to this wedding. I'm like, why you don't want to go to the wedding? She goes to all of Sonny's weddings. I'm like, oh yeah, I don't blame her. She finally got tired of all these new Mrs. Corinthos is running around. So, you know, one wedding, hell, you've been to one wedding, you've seen them all. And you want to know what's funny about Sonny and Kate getting married, Sonny and Connie, whatever. I'm going to call the bitch Kate. I don't care. What's funny is... Last year, just last year, he was marrying Brenda. They were married. Their marriage lasted five months. 
quickest marriage I've ever seen Sonny in, pretty much. Five months. His marriage to Claudia lasted longer than that. Hell, their marriage lasted a year. Almost. Um, and he's married. A year later, you're marrying Kate. Saying, Kate, you love her. But I'm like, Sonny, don't you ever get tired of reciting the same shit that you just recited to Brenda last year when y'all got married? She love her. You want to spend the rest of your life with her. Now you're spewing the same shit to Kate. Okay, Sonny. Anyway, why the fuck was everybody drinking champagne and shit before the wedding started? Shouldn't they be drinking champagne at the reception after the wedding? I guess they wanted to get a buzz, I guess, because, you know, some gunfire might happen at this wedding. Alexis had me fucking rolling when she said, um, you know, she should bring her bulletproof vest to the wedding. I was sitting there dying. I was sitting there rolling. I'm like, for real, Alexis, you never know. I mean, shit, last year there was a fucking explosion at the wedding. You never know what's going to happen at a Corinthos wedding. I'm just saying. Explosions, gunfire, paternity results. You know, the shit just hit the fan at Corinthos' weddings. Um, Spinelli and Ellie, my lord. I am confused and conflicted on who to root for. I really wanted him with Maxie again, but damn, I love Ellie. I love Ellie. She's the only redhead really on this show that ain't no whore. And she's intelligent. She's a nerd, but she's a cool nerd. Now, she look gorgeous. Um, I don't know who the fuck I'm rooting for, Ellie or Maxie. I don't know. Like, what team am I riding for? Spinelli and Ellie or Spixie? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm confused. I guess I'm going to be neutral on this shit. Maxi had me fucking rolling on this episode. This episode was funny and and just dumb all at the same time. Lindsay fucking Morgan, the girl, you know Lindsay Morgan, the girl who plays Christina now. I loved her scenes with Trey. When she was spazzing on Trey and you know yo, those scenes was crazy. I'm glad the truth is finally out though. Um she went in, though. I loved her acting on this part. I don't know about y'all, but I like the acting that she did on this episode. I enjoyed it. Um, she did a pretty banged-up job on this. Um, when she dropped her phone, I guess, when she was about to get kidnapped or something like that, was that a diamond-encrusted phone? That looked like a diamond-encrusted phone that she dropped. I was like, what the fuck? Um, Connie and Olivia scenes, I liked it. Connie's a fucking nut. Those facial expressions she be making behind people's backs is funny. Um, This wedding is about to be all kinds of crazy shady. All kinds of crazy. Um, Just a lot of drama. I just wish Jason would just get rid of Liz. Like, get rid of this bitch. Please. For the love of God, like, I, I'm going to be so pissed to see Steve Burton leave, though. I know that he just finished taping last week, his final scenes, but um, it's fucked up. We losing a good guy. Johnny Zakara, I wonder how him, Kate, well, Connie, and Lulu, how they going to explain what, what they were arguing about to Lulu. Because I know shit is about to hit the fan tomorrow. I already know. I can't wait for tomorrow. But anyway, I hope everybody have a great day. See y'all all tomorrow for a pretty good episode. Hopefully we don't have to look at Joe Jr. ugly face. Oh, do remember the poll questions are in the description box. I will post the poll questions in my description box. I'm out. I'll see everybody tomorrow.